guys. Guess where I'm at. Can't guess because I don't think any of y'all have ever been here. Maybe y'all, some of y'all have. But I am actually at the museum right now. It's actually pretty late. It's kind of eight-ish. I've never been here this late. Um, I'm with uh, one of my friends from the Houston Nerd Fighters. She's just coming to lecture tonight on uh, human anthropology and like the migration of humans, uh, prehistoric humans from Africa to everything else. But right now, I'm, I managed to get away for just a few seconds, and I'm at the Butterfly Center. And um, hidden secret that not everybody knows, but people who work at the museum definitely know, is that at nighttime we uh, let out. We have a lizard, and his name is Charo, and we let him out. And I don't know if you can see him. But we let him out. There's his cage with the light, and on the side, he's he's on the little side area. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of weird because there's a lot of glare. But I, I wanted to make a PSA announcement. I've never been a big bug person, but since working here, I've become definitely a more understanding person when it comes to bugs. Like, I don't hate cockroaches as much as I used to, and I don't like not like seeing butterflies move their legs like I used to. And um, butterflies and, and bugs in general are really important. And... Um, you should look up what kind of butterflies are around you, where you live. If any, I'm sure, you know, some places don't have as many butterflies as, I don't know, tropical Houston would. <laughs> but if you have any at all, you should look into the butterfly plants because they're actually, like, really important because butterflies are really specific about what kind of uh, plants they land on and have their, put their little eggs on. And you should look up what kind of butterflies are around, maybe the butterfly plants, if they're not too difficult to maintain, which most of them aren't, because honestly, you put them in the ground and butterflies come, lay their eggs, caterpillars, and the caterpillars like destroy them. But it's great because you're feeding caterpillars and caterpillars turn into butterflies and butterflies pollinate the world with also bees. I mean, bees are very important. And roaches, I mean, roaches are way more important than I used to pretend, like without them, We'd seriously be up to our knees in waste. They just they crawl around in the dead of night like, Ooh, don't hurt me, I'm a cockroach. I'm just going to eat all your food and all your little crummies that you leave all over the place. Like a little elf in the night. Just because they look gross doesn't mean that they're... I'm going on a bug rant. It, it's a thing that happened because I work here. But, um, I don't know. You guys, bugs are cool. And butterflies are really great because not only are they pretty, but they're also really helpful to us and they pollinate. Not as much as bees and other, and other bugs, but they do do a sick, they do do, they do do, uh, everything do do's, but they also <laughs> pollinate a lot. So look up the helpful bugs that live around you and maybe consider planting nice things for them because they're nice to us so why don't we be nice to them and bees are really awesome too so don't be mean to them because they're really sweet that's why they call them honeybees i'm winning by